As you can see, I just got out of the water. And let me tell you, it was not a pleasant snorkeling experience. I should have listened to my tips. I should have gone at low tide, but I didn't. Instead, I followed my buddy, said it would be fine. dive buddy or snorkel buddy. It is important that you guys both respect each other and respect each other's boundaries and feelings because if you can't or don't want to do something, you should be comfortable enough to say it. So my big tip, just be choosy and don't do any big trips or plans with anybody until you definitely know that your style lines up and that you guys are comfortable together. I went snorkeling with someone today and our personalities didn't really jive and our snorkeling style definitely didn't either. So, before you get in the water with anybody, be sure to talk about your strengths, your weaknesses, and what if you have any concerns about anything, and just try and be respectful. Like, you could be the stronger person, they could be the stronger person. Just be respectful of each other, and you know, that's the most important thing. And again, go at low tide. There is no point in going out there in San Diego when it's all murky and the waves are crashing on the shore. You're not going to see anything. You're not going to like really have a good time. Well, that's all I have for you today. I hope that you have better luck than I just did. Bye.